Gorgon stare. Gorgon stare. We need to be repeating that from the rooftops everywhere. The big break came earlier this week when I had already figured out that the camera being used must be Argus. I realized there can't be that many cameras that have these types of capabilities. It must be Argus. And if this video is Argus, then perhaps we could narrow down the whammy options that could be this video. Started to do research, narrowed it down to just three options very quickly. Angel Fire, Argus, and Gorgon Stare. The large reveal, the biggest reveal, came when we found out Gorgon Stare actually integrated with Argus. The big reveal, the thing that broke the case this week, was that Gorgon Stare integrated with Argus and Gorgon Stare Increment 1 became Gorgon Stare Increment 2 integrated with Argus, which vastly improved its capabilities. I have been talking about we have to wait for our moment, wait for them to make a mistake, wait for the right moment to act on the right information, and the Gorgon Stare information is the right information. The Gorgon Stare information, limiting it down to just Gorgon Stare with Argus as the possibility, basically just nails the case. Now, if, in this investigation, this is basically the lead that brings us to the people that we can take legal action against. Like legal action is going to go into this. We're, we're getting to the people now who are legally criminally implicated in the in at least the cover-up, minimum the cover-up. They might be criminally implicated in the act itself. The big break was finding out that there's a third aspect to the videos that we had ignored. There's a third aspect to this video that we ignored. Not only is the background six frames per second, and the, the foreground is a 24 frame viewing window, but there's also an update rate of one hertz that's happening as well. They can only be seen around like the cloud edges, et cetera. So what we are proving here is it doesn't even matter what you're seeing on the screen. What you're visually seeing happen doesn't matter for the authenticity of our proof of this video. The authenticity of our proof says that every frame is normal 20 FPS on exactly one frame per second. The digits update. All other frames show perfectly merged digits. Tick happens on every 38 second boundary, not when the mouse moves on the leaked desktop capture. The bottom line proof is one hertz coordinate refresh is the MISB0601 compliance rate only used on US NATO military. Commercial doesn't even use that when I double checked at least. So this shows this is military exploitation software. This, therefore, this is a cadence fingerprint. Fingerprint meaning it can only be this thing that shows this is the signature that is legitimately real-time data being transmitted through this system, through the satellite as we see, to the ground-based computers. So this right here is the peer-reviewable forensic proof. Forensic meaning it looks at the actual analysis of the data of the video itself to determine that this must be what the video actually is. This means it's not somebody that made it in Blender or what Adobe, or it, this rules out anybody using VFX tools to make the video. That's not what this, this video, this proves that's not the case. If anyone disagrees, there's the peer review proof right there. So the two main things I want, we need to be focusing on right off the bat, because keep in mind, this is an information war. One, it's Gorgon Stare. Can't be denied. It's Gorgon Stare. The other thing, too, is that people are often saying the we know what their disinformation is. The clouds don't move. That's not organic. That's something that the CIA pushed out there that they, they stuck into people's minds like brainwashing. Because if you're a normal, logically thinking person, you go, the clouds not appearing to move very much isn't weird at all. It's supposedly from a satellite. I mean, do the stars look like they're moving to you? Look into how whammy footage works. The whole point of the whammy footage is it's collecting these pictures to produce this large mosaic. So, of course, it has to correct for like parallax 
and things like that. That's the whole point of it. That's what it's doing. So if anybody says it doesn't look right and how it should look if it's from a camera, you say that's the whole point. That's the whole point. It's whammy. It's not literally a video camera. It's whammy. So just look into the capabilities of whammy. I actually have a link to that right here as well. So all, everything's been sourced, everything out there, all this information is perfectly sourced. You can read about it for yourself. Anybody that doesn't understand Whammy, read this PDF, which isn't even about Gorgon Stairs, just about Whammy in general. I think it's from about 2006. So this is from way before the videos. And this explains exactly how the Whammy footage works right here. Capabilities of it, the sensor exploitation data, Explains for how it auto cal calibrates for 3D models that you can see here. Explains how it can fully automate re 3D reconstruction. So it can actually, it's literally producing 3D from two-dimensional images. So this is how it, the video we're looking at is pro probably literally was 3D stereoscopic. But it's maybe a digital stereoscopic that like this software is doing, right? So here's another example of that. And then they have the geo registration. So they have to have geo locations on every picture so that they can merge them together efficiently and accurately. And then what was the last part? Oh, the parallax. Here's the thing. So when they say, how funny is it that they, they attack the parallax and there's the answer to the parallax right here. They know that the parallax is a problem. So they have a parallax mitigation capabilities and that's how they fix it. So you can see here's the parallax and then they, they fix it and they just resolve it. So.